J drone here, check it out. First time out with this, we're gonna show you how to calibrate it. We're gonna show you how to put propellers on and uh, hopefully get this thing in the air properly. I've left a warning sticker on it. Bam, you should read that warning sticker before you go. I've also left that on the controller. I've just notched out so we can see the LED lights, but let's get started. So first thing you wanna do is insert your battery. Once you've inserted your battery, you wanna make sure it's locked. This seems to have a spring-loaded lock. Uh, when I put it in, it went over to that side, but make sure it's locked. Next, you want to, nope, you want to make sure this is all the way in the up position, all the way in the up position. This one is a, a switch for camera and video, I believe. It needs to be in the middle position, which it's automatically in there. This is on GPS. This needs to be normal. This will start the calibration procedure. Some, uh, some instruction manuals I've seen flick five times up and down. We'll see how this works without doing that. If it doesn't work well, then we will do it that way. Um, so let's see here. We are going to turn on the controller. We are gonna turn on the drone. Beep, you wanna wait for the beep. You wanna wait 30 seconds after that um, to start the calibration procedure. And that's going to be uh, the compass calibration. And then we'll count down 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one um and i believe what that does is it allows the drone to actually gather gps which it has already quick gps gather then you want to put your sticks to the inwards position inward position like that good to go and now let's see we should start i don't know if we should have blinky lights or not let's see we're gonna go inward position again we're gonna hold it We're not getting blinky lights, so let's try the five um, up and downs and see if we get blinky lights. So we're going to start from GPS. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we have blinky on the back. Um, so we are going to start our calibration, which is you're going to go two. So that's one. That's two. We're going to go, I believe it's head up. One, two, and we're gonna go sideways. One, and two. Should be good, I think. I'm still blinking over here. Um, yeah, I'm still blinking in the back. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't do the calibration right. Let's see, I still have this LED thing on here. Um, front indicator, successful, green. Hmm. Uh, we could also calibrate our gyroscope by going like that on the outs. I don't know guys, um, they're there, maybe, maybe, maybe that's what did it, I don't know. Fire the motors is going to be outs, I believe. It's gonna fire the motors. Shut them down, same procedure. Yeah, maybe, maybe after all that, which we're going to go five again, I think, or uh, we'll go normal. And we'll go opposite outs. So that should calibrate the gyroscope. I've, se I've seen two different ways to do this. Five up and down and also just having this on normal and going through the procedures. But uh, we're, we're gonna see how this flies, guys. We're gonna see. There is also accelerometer calibrations that you could perform if this isn't flying properly. Silver, you're gonna go on silver top and it is going to spin clockwise. There is a motor tool to grab the motor. With my Phantom, I just grab the motor and tighten. That should be good enough. And we're going to go spin 
until it grabs and then just grab the motor and give it a little bit more tightening and then a black you're gonna put on the dimple this one has an indent on it. it there's actually no paint on it but it has an indent this is gonna go counterclockwise bam this one the same thing black a little dimple These ones didn't go down as easy as the other ones, but that's fine. And just make sure they're tight. So here we go, guys. Um, hopefully, I've calibrated this properly. Uh, if not, you're gonna see an epic fail. <laughs> um, we're gonna go down and out. We're gonna restart it. I didn't like that motor over there not starting right away. Seems to have a slow start on that. Um, we're gonna go up. All right, we are up. And I'm in normal mode. We're gonna put it in GPS mode. We're in GPS mode now. It is for the most part holding. We have a little bit of wind that it's countering in. It's staying in that position. It's not fluctuating in altitude. I think the satellites have actually grabbed it right now. So we're just gonna take this for a little fly out. And this is the first time I'm flying this, so I'm not gonna push push the limits with it because I don't have any trust with the drone. I haven't built trust with the drone. Um, And it seems that I probably calibrated that properly. It's gonna take a couple more times to really understand this drone. I'm gonna go forward. Sticks on it feel nice. Uh, they are sensitive. As I was yawing, I was lightly pressing up so the drone went up. We're gonna turn this this way. And as you can see, I don't have a camera on this just because again, bam, and it is, it's sitting really nice. Just because again, I've not built any trust with this, so I wasn't gonna throw a GoPro on it, I wasn't gonna throw a camera on it and have this thing fly away and be out of camera. But it seems that uh, I've done this right. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna take a mild run out. This thing's pretty big, I could keep an eye on it. Okay, right now we're over the abyss. And so we're probably sitting 150 meters. We're gonna turn back this way. Go up a little bit higher, come back towards herself. And as I stop, it stops. It's a little movement, just a little bit. Until, like when you stop it, there's a little bit of movement and then it gathers itself pretty well. Um, these, these are going $99 on Amazon. So for a brushless GPS drone, dude, $99, you can't beat that. And that's for the base model. At least that's what I'm told. I haven't actually searched it, but um, the person who sent this to me, I would assume know exactly what they're talking about. Because this wasn't used. And Mr. Day, thank you, brother. This is a cool drone. It's gonna take a little while to gain some trust with it and uh, really get the bearings with it. Has a really nice sound to it though. And we are gonna stop. It sits pretty nice, guys. Moving just a little bit. The 
that's not bad especially for uh, the first run because I might have rushed the calibration um, we might have uh, might have not done it a hundred percent but we're able to fly it so that tells me one thing that this isn't uh and what do we got a beep i don't know what that beep was about not sure what i mean i'm getting a beep dude not sure what the beep's about indicator to the left so I think we're gonna set this down I don't know if uh, hmm. I really didn't study the controls on uh, or the LED warnings yeah, I'm getting a beeping which I don't like so we're, we're gonna come over here we're gonna set this down I'm just holding down and then we'll go down there we go um so i have a red indicator light blinking which i don't like let's see let's see if this led indicator lights um mode compass calibration and that's probably not going to first level low battery alarm second level low battery alarm and that's just for uh that's just for this um as far as this controller i don't know man uh, we were getting a beeping. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And I, d I don't recall if this was green upon startup. How to land properly. We just did land properly. Um, we'll, 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 we'll put this up once more uh, and see if we get that beeping again. Underneath the LEDs are good. Um, I'm not indicating any type of low voltage here. The only thing that I can think is, again, I don't know if that's supposed to be red or not. Because um, that's your, I don't know. Um, I used the stock batteries that came in this. Maybe the stock batteries aren't, uh, aren't fully charged. That was actually against my better judgment to do that. All right, we got to punch this a little bit. There we go, there's a little fly out. And there, I got beeping again. We're gonna come back. And another beep. So I'm not, I'm not sure what that beeping is, guys. I will look into it. We'll look into the manual and see why the controller beeps. Maybe one of you guys could tell me. Or right there, I got intermediate flashing. Let's see. I got a flash. We're gonna let that sit there. We're gonna look here. One flash, let's see. Things double beeping at me. Okay, we got two flashing. I don't know. Don't know, guys. So we're going to set this down. We got those three flashing. Okay, I got constant flashing going on. So we're gonna set this down. Nope, shut it down. Both sticks down, should shut it down. There we go. Um, all right, so let's see what we got here quickly. First, low battery alarm. Front indicator green, red, blinking. Second, low. Um, I'm assuming is low battery. Let's let's check our battery here. Um, we're gonna turn it off though. 
and turn that off just to be safe that way the blades don't spin abnormally somehow yeah okay maybe it was the battery don't take this as a fully charged battery test uh mr day told me that the battery discharges just like the sparks when you don't use it um we're sitting uh sitting at like 15 minutes or so with probably like a two to three minute uh two to three minutes setup so this probably got maybe like a 10 to 11 minute flight time somewhere around there which is probably pretty good for a battery that i charged like four or five days ago um guys i'm jay drone if you haven't subscribed please do uh we'll, we'll, we'll dig more into this i'm pretty sure the beeping was for low voltage later